This is a message for all sons who don't have a good relationship with their father. I'm Self Worth Sam, life coach. So many years ago, I did not have a very good relationship with my father, uh, mostly between the ages of early teens and mid twenties. Hated the guy, didn't speak very much. And I had a pretty good reason for, for doing that. And it's because I didn't think that he treated my mother very well. Anyway, in 2006, they divorced. And I thought that was the greatest thing in the world because they, they fought a lot. And uh, I wanted my mother to be happy, right? And I thought, basically, fuck you to my dad. Um, my mother moved out and it was just my father and I living in the house. I'd come back to live in the house because I was studying at university. And my mother had left and it's just my dad and I and he comes up to me one day, I was in the kitchen, and he said, how do you see the relationship between your mother and I? And I gave him my, my interpretation and basically called him a cunt. And um, he told me his side of the story, which was new information for me. I saw things in a different point, from a different point of view, like the Johnny Cash song, a uh, boy named Sue, if you've ever heard of that song. I walked away with a different point of view and so I said, all right, let's, um, let's start afresh because I didn't want to carry on like this and I didn't want to have a, no relationship with my father. I wanted to have a, a good one because I heard of many men who, whose father had died and they never got to have that relationship with them. So at that time of 26, I said to my old man, all right, next time we see each other, actually every time we see each other from now on, we say we love each other and we hug each other. Well, I can say um, nearly 13 years later, my old man and me get along like a house on fire. Last year, we went to Germany for two weeks and drank a shitload of piss. Sorry, that's Australian for alcohol and beer. I mean, if you've ever been to Germany, you know what German beer is like. I mean, come on. And, you know, when your father gets on the piss, he starts to tell you all these stories from his youth that you never heard before and they're great. Now he does tend to ramble a little bit, but you know, we've got some catching up to do. So my message is for all the, all the fellas out there, that if you have a, so there's a generator just over here, they're doing some construction. If you're not getting along with your father, try, do whatever you can to start again. Even if that means saying to your father or calling him and just saying, we got to start again. Let's put everything to the side and start with I love you and a hug and a beer. And I know that might be challenging for some of you, but do it before you don't have the chance. And also, if you get the chance before you don't have it, take your old man somewhere on a beer crawl or a, a beer tour of Germany. Do something that the both of you are going to love and cherish forever. Tell you what, uh, I'm so grateful that I did that. Uh, my old man is 79, I'm 44, 45 this year. And um, yeah, message to everybody out there, all the, all the sons, change things with your father. You've, you've got that ability, you know. And what father doesn't want the love of their son?